Good evening everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon Sleep video. We're gonna hop right into the main session in this video and actually there's no nap. I'm thinking for this week on the primary account to just run the full session and see how that goes. Hopefully I'll be able to get a hundred sleep score for the remainder of this week. Uh, time will tell. But uh, yeah, the very least I think I'm just gonna fuel as much drowsy power as I can into the main session, and then hopefully I'll be able to find some new sleep styles. I'm hoping to find some Steelix, Onyx, or Coco line, anything of those two. That would be pretty good. It seems like the primary Pokemon here will be of the dosing type. I have no idea what kind of dosing Pokemon could show up here. I guess maybe Tyranitar. <laughs> it's gonna be a ways away though. We have a Shuppet, a Diglett, Ekans, Togepi, like that. That looks like a zombie. What is up with that white color? Hey, we got a gold pin. We got a Ghastly and Houndour too. Found out. I'm actually gonna go for the gold pin here yet again. I am on that Swalot hunt. I understand not everyone is into Swalot. I personally think it's a secret A tier Pokemon that you can use to dampen your Drowsy power growth throughout the week. Let's say you hit your target on a Thursday, you put Swalot on there. It's gonna do nothing except give you Dream Shards, which for non-whales, times can be a good deal. So, the Ghastly and the Ditto. No, the Diglett is hungry. I'm not interested in either one of them. I guess to an extent, had I been a little bit more of a premium player than I am, could have slung a biscuit in Ghastly's direction, but I'm not. So if this gold pin is still hungry after the second biscuit here, I'm going to feed it a great biscuit. Despite the fact those are kind of hold off or held off for the, the Delibird hunt. Yes, man, this is way late. So um, we have a Ghastly. I'm going to throw a biscuit at it in case it mega hits and we have at least something to review. No. And I also have a Diglett that is evolved into Doug Trio that I actually caught as a Doug Trio that is level 50 and cracked. So not going to go for that one either. Really? Not a single Pokemon? Let's try it. Is it going to catch or what? No. All right. Just wasted a bunch of biscuits and got nowhere. All right, I'm going to end the session here and we can peek a look at my team because this far in the week, I would have expected me to have started the overstacking already. The best candy here is the ghastly candy. I know a lot of people are trying to run berry finding Gengars and get them the mushrooms at level 60 and everything. So I suspect that the Ghastly Candy is the preferred here on the list, but I have been trying to complete my dish types this week. So I did quite a bit of work to get two more curries done. The only thing I got left now is the Inferno Kima Corn Curry. My pot size is not big enough, so I've been running the Magnezone and the Flareon for hours. Not a single trigger. It's looking bad for me here, but maybe in the next hour or so, I can get at least one of them to proc, in which case I think I would get enough. We have to see. So 57, I need 77. If the Flareon procs, that's a good thing. Then I'm all good. But if the Magnezone procs, I don't think it's gonna make it. Yeah, 12, it's not 20, so yeah. 27. I just need that flare into proc, it just does not want to. And then at that point in time, I've completed all the curries and I only got a couple of desserts left. My desserts game is pretty weak. I have never made the macarons and there's some other dish here that I haven't made. I have logged those in my photos album, but I can't bring those up here now. So. At that point in time, I think actually my notes will be 100% again until they release a whole bunch of new stuff at Old Gold Power Plant. So yeah, we got three more dishes, one curry and two desserts. 
overall i have wanted to start the overstack i just want to get that one final meal and i have a lot of ingredients that are starting to get in the way here milk from the sylveon no triggers from the trigger pokemon it's not looking too hot so i think after i'm able to cook this final curry i'm just gonna hop on with the overstacking entei team and hold off until the new area wednesday next week and i may even try to do some overstacking in addition to increasing my cooking pot with a flareon and all that but i just don't know what kind of dish type there will be at the new area like what i'll roll don't want to use the easy tickets ever again i just felt scammed the, <laughs> the last time i tried it 10 tickets to roll salads ridiculous so yeah not a particularly eventful video here today but uh that's just how this game is at times and so hope you guys enjoyed watching and i'll talk to you again tomorrow